I want to talk about Jam Galaxy. Yeah, uh, yeah, sure. You know, initially, I thought Jam Galaxy was a band, you know, with an AI humanoid robot that's yeah. Demona. And, you know, after getting here last night and seeing the live performance, we talked a little more afterwards. And Jam Galaxy is a lot more. Uh, yeah, that, than yeah just that's, a not band. Where, that's not where it started. And I think, uh, I think you're going to talk tomorrow to Diane, who's running Jam Galaxy. And yeah, she, yeah. Can, she can dig into everything. But, you know, where Jam Galaxy started was really. I, I relocated from Hong Kong here to the to the Puget Sound in early 2020, partly because of the political shifts in Hong Kong were not to my maximal liking, partly because it seemed like Hong Kong's COVID management was going to get more and more annoying, which has totally happened. So I, I moved here to uh, Vashon Island near Seattle, where my, my mom and sister have lived for some time. So we're raising two kids in this sort of... Uh, left-wing Beverly Hillbillies type of setting, right? yeah. like extended family farms, uh, pigs, cows, chickens, wallabies, and llamas, and the uh, perfect place to build superhuman AGI, right? Yeah. And so I was talking to my brother-in-law, Tony Mann, who's our other keyboardist in Gem Galaxy Band now, and he, he's been a software developer for decades. He's also a very talented rock musician who's been bouncing in and out of various bands. We were talking about using AI for music, so just training machine learning models to implement my keyboard playing or Steve Vai's guitar playing. And we started playing around with this together with Singularity Net's AI team. One of the things we ran into is we wanted more and better training data. So particularly, we wanted training data consisting of like the raw recordings that bands had made before Mixdown. Like, so when, when a band plays in the studio, what every musician individually plays is recorded. Then when you make a final recording, you're, you're you're mixing that down into one one audio file, right? So what we want is, among other things, we would like the raw stems that musicians recorded in the studio. That saves you the trouble of splitting out the splitting out what each musician played. I mean, we we have a, a song splitter app on Singularity Net platform actually, mm -hmm. but right now what it does is it splits vocals from the rest because we weren't getting re reliable enough results for like splitting guitar from keyboard or something, right? So yeah. We wanted to get the split out tracks and then we're like, okay, one of the many obstacles to getting machine learning to really do music, because we, we wanted to get AI models that could jam in a band with us as well or better than a human musician. Right? I mean, AIs for music composition is cool too. And maybe AIs can write better hit songs than everyone else. What interested us as musicians was more participating in like having an AI musician jam along with us just because like, what would it be like to play a riff? have an AI echo back with something it came up with, then you play back, like riffing off what the AI did, it would just be super cool, right? Yeah. And so one of the obstacles to getting the AI model, we did a little of that. The AI models were a little too cliche for us. Like they're just kind of ripping off too transparently the data they were training on, which could just mean you need AGI, where the AI will generalize further beyond its training data. But I think you could do better even without AGI if you had more training data to feed the music models. Mm -hmm. So then we started thinking, well, how do we get more training data? Well, we get musicians to give us their 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 pre-mixed tracks. Why do musicians want to, get, want to give it to us? Well, we could ask them to give it to us because they like us. That would work, actually. On the other hand, what if you made a tokenomic incentive model that would give musicians liquid tokens in, in, in exchange for contributing their data to the musical AI comedy? They've just got their data sitting around anyway. It's just the trouble of extracting it from Pro Tools or something and uploading it, right? Give them some tokens for it. They'll be, ha they'll be happy, happy to do that. And then we start talking to Diane Krauss who has been a personal friend of myself and Tony for a long time and is also one of the world's most amazing saxophone players. Mm -hmm. right? and I so can confirm. She's that. great. Yeah. She's great. And we start talking to her. And, <clears throat> you know, she'd done some AI development in the past too. She'd done some marketing in the past. She quickly wrapped her brain around all the different ways that tokenomics could revolutionize the music industry, right? And so that then, then our conversation shifted from just doing AI to train models on, on music data to make AI musicians to making a tokenomic ecosystem that will not only incentivize musicians to put their training data in, into sort of an, an AI mu music commons, but you know, that, that would help with other problems in the music industry. Like how the hell do musicians who aren't superstars make any money, right? Because music fans are a great untapped source of enthusiasm. Think about if you if you turn the fan club of every musician 
into a token pumping club for that, that musician's crypto tokens, then, then they can help that musician to make tokens, NFTs for their music or utility tokens connoting their band. I mean, you, you, the, the fans of that band can be helping to pump that token in the broader world. Then they're also promoting that, that, that band in the world. The fans get some reward tokens. So they're getting paid in, in a way for their efforts without their band having to give them USD, right? So, I mean, it seemed like there's a lot there, even going beyond our original idea to incentivize contribution of, of data to feed AI. I mean, that, 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 that can be part of it. And that, that led to the whole Jam, Jam Galaxy blockchain project and, and, and tokenization model, which will then leverage singularity net, you know, for the AI that is used to train models based on data that, that's contributed and will leverage Cardano for the NFTs and, and, and the utility tokens that, that are leveraged to make it, it its music ecosystem. But while, while we were getting together scheming on that, because we're all musicians, we, Dan, Tony, and I were also jamming music together. And that I discovered to my amazement that Gabriel Axel, who had been working for SingularityNet for a while, helping with human resources, and who I knew as a neuroscientist, because he had a neuroscience PhD, we're actually working on a book together called The Consciousness Explosion about how singularity will come out better if human beings advance their consciousness along along with the advance of intelligence of, of machines. So I knew Gabriel from all these other things, and he's also building an app called Pathform on SingularityNet, which is a SingularityNet AI-driven meditation and consciousness app. So I discovered that Gabriel is also an insanely great metal guitarist and jazz guitarist, right? So <laughs> yeah. he, 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 he wasn't here for this jam session that, that you saw yesterday, mm -hmm. but he'll, 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 he'll be here next week, actually. Yeah. And he'll, he'll be at the, the NAM, NAM uh, festival where, mm -hmm. where Jam Galaxy is performing for a large audience. So we, we started jamming together on music. Our original idea was we want to have AI musicians join our band. They, they will, they probably will buy Rare Bloom when Gem Galaxy Man, Man performs, actually. But right now, I'm not happy enough with the AI, AI musicians. They're, they're okay, but they're not as good as the humans yet, right? And they need more data as well. Yeah, I think they, they need more data. And we're also improving the transformer neural net, spending more hardware in our network. But I realized our AI neural net models are already pretty good at coming up with uh, really cool stuff, stuff to say. Mm -hmm. So I decided place to start let's start with a with a robot doing some spoken word ai generated poetry and sort of doing the robot with it with, 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 with her with her body while she while she recites and mm -hmm. uh, and that's desdemona that's De that's desdemona that's grace and sophia's a crazy little sister we've also got some machine learning models for scat singing actually which we we haven't tried publicly yet but so boom and so on so so we, we, we have the robot singing in, in, in that vein yeah already which maybe if we're lucky we'll get that working well enough for prime time by by rare bloom also yeah. so mm -hmm. we're sort of the band is is for fun primarily fun is important right it's for for promotion of Jam Galaxy and the whole Singularity Net ecosystem, but it's also an experimenting ground for trying out trying out different AI meets meets music music tools. And I think for promoting Jam Galaxy as a tokenized music project, it's important that we're coming to musicians as, as musicians. Right? Musicians have been ripped off by assholes in suits, like since since suits were were, were, were invented, right? And, most musicians don't know much about the crypto economy and they're generally mistrustful of people where money is their, their primary motivation because they've been ripped off by them since forever. So we're really coming to the music community as a bunch of crazy ass musicians who are playing music ourselves. And, you know, the musicians in the Jam Galaxy band are a couple professional musicians and a couple people who are semi-pro musicians because they had kids in houses and like needed real jobs. So they're, they're playing in bands, but they're also working as like marketing professionals or software developers because making music doesn't make money, right? So, yeah. I mean, th these are people who, they get things from the musician's point of view and we're trying to roll things out really in a way that will benefit musicians and lead to the creation of more and more awesome, awesome music, music in the world r rather than coming from a sort of a, Exploded place. Like if if you look at say Bored Ape or something, I don't want to put them down. It's 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 very cool. It's very funny what they've done, 
but the artists who created the board ape apes are not the primary beneficiaries, right? I mean, this is this is not an ape token and all that. I mean, it's not a scam or a fraud. It's it's, it's a real thing. People are getting into it for fun. That f- fun is fun. It's cool. On the other hand, it's not like being created to benefit visual artists who aren't making any money, right? It's yeah. it's, it's to benefit business people and crypto geeks leveraging the work of cartoonists who are very small players in it, right? So we're aiming to do something that's not like that. We're aiming to do something that's ground up, made by musicians to ben- to benefit musicians. And I think mm-hmm. this fits very well with a sort of mentality and vibe of the Cardano ecosystem.